to the historic area again. This is the area of Flagler College. Uh, and originally on the left, it started out as being the Pasolino Hotel. Henry Flagler built this. Now on the right, this is a Raiders Castle. It was the first concrete structure built in Florida. It was out of Ford Concrete. It was a new technology. This is a bank on the corner over here, but the building directly in front of us, that is the uh, Casa Monica Hotel. For a period of about 20 or 30 years, it started as a hotel, sorry, it served as a courthouse. coming up to this place called Government House. That was the seat of government for St. Augustine. Actually, it was the seat of government for the state of Florida. Florida, the entire territory of Florida, was had historical boundaries. And in the old historical boundaries, anything east of the Suwannee River was St. John's County. That was millions and millions and millions of acres. As the town progressed, uh, St. John's County has grown down to about five or six hundred square miles. And there's about 30 or 40 counties that were carved out of the rest of the area. That's the area east of the Suwannee River. That was the entire, a lot of the area for St. John's County. Up ahead, we're going to see the Bridge Alliance. In fact, we might even go over it. Actually, I don't think we want to go over the Bridge Alliance. We'll get a look at it as we go by. It's been just restored. They spent a few hundred million dollars to fix this up. Now we're coming over. There's the American Legion over here. It's a historic building also. They refurbished it to something else. Over here. This is uh, Charlotte Street we just passed, and we're coming up to the church over here. This is Cathedral Basilica. This is part of the Archdiocese of St. Augustine. And it's a very historic church. And up ahead, this is St. George Street. It's a pedestrian walkway. They close it off so people cannot uh, walk through there. There's Flagler College up ahead again. And on the left is Government House. This is the seat of government from the 18, 17, actually the 1700s. It's been reconstructed because St. Augustine was burned to the ground many times by pirates and invaders and the English. And, this area right here, this is very historic. This entire area was done by Henry Flagler within a space of about five years. Building in the far side over there, that was the Alcazar Hotel. It is now the City Hall, the Light Museum, and the Alcazar Courtyard Shops. They've taken a swimming pool and made shops there. Now we've done a little turnaround just on a downtown area of St. Augustine. And this is not even a crowded time of year over here, but a lot of people walking around visiting St. Augustine. We're heading west over here. This is King Street. Luther King Avenue, passing the Markland House, passing the housing for the church over here. Corner over here, this is going to be uh, Liberia Street again. Everything to the right up in this area here is mainly dedicated to the Flagler era. Henry Flagler came here in 1870. 
had a tremendous effect on the area until about 1913 when he passed on. Up ahead, immediately beyond a heavy set of trees, was the headquarters of Florida East Coast Railway. That was also a project Henry Flagler got involved in. He built the Florida East Coast Railway. It's called the Overseas Railway because it went overseas down in the key areas. This property has been sold. There are actually three buildings that you'll see in a moment. We just passed the police department. That was the Florida East Coast Railway up there. Okay. This is the building for the Florida East Coast Railway. It's now a college. And on the left, this is the San Sebastian Winery. In the evening, up on the top, they have entertainment, they have dancing, uh, there are tours of the facility, and you can go in there, sample wines, hopefully you'll buy some also. And here we are back on the road. We're coming up now to the San Sebastian River. Beyond the bridge here, you, it's really not navigable unless you've got a very small boat. West King Street up ahead. West King Street is now, uh, well, I should say was, uh, the main Negro community in the area now. But the homes over there are being refurbished and sold because of people, a lot of people are moving there because it's the place to be. So, we won't be going over there now, but we'll get there in another trip.